Fair enough. Uh, congrats on the win to the both of you, first and foremost. Uh, Asia, defensively, you've been all over the place the last few games. Just how comfortable are you now defensively compared to the beginning of the year? Um, I felt like I stunk today. I felt like on the defensive end, I was not the greatest. Um, so I kind of had a lull this game, but I'm getting a lot more comfortable. I'm understanding where people want to be and where they want to go and how they want to get to it versus just blocking shots. Uh, it's a lot more thought going into my defensive process now, which is crazy. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just dissecting it a little bit more um, and trying to be better at like not fouling and just my timing on everything, whether it's steals, whether it's blocks or just being where I need to be on time. Um, but yeah, I think tonight was not a good showing and I'm terribly sorry. That's what I felt like. <laughs> what? Callie, go ahead. Uh, hey, Asia, two for you. One of them is just you made some history today, which you do a lot, but you're the first player in WBA history with more than 25 points, 15 rebounds, five blocks, and then three, three points made in a game. And I know that, like, normally when you accomplish these things, you just kind of charge it to the game but are you able to kind of soak in what you're accomplishing right now at all like do you talk about it with the team or no. is it just kind of you you're on to the next thing immediately uh I'm on to the next thing immediately I feel like that's how you know you're doing pretty well because you have random stats like that like it's like girl what uh but no I, I'm appreciative I'm blessed but it's something that I don't really think about because I'm just doing my job this is what I'm doing with my life. Uh, I train so hard and I prep myself for these moments. So I'd hope I would be playing the way that I need to play for my teammates because I put the work in. So I don't really pay it any at attention because it's just the way the game goes. I hope that the basketball guys continue to bless me and my team uh, as we continue to do the right things to the game. Thank you. And then secondly, this might seem like a weird one, but you were wearing a Beyonce Renaissance shirt as you arrived to today's game. And it was kind of giving me like alien superstar vibes. I was wondering if you knew that song and if it was like in your head while you were playing or especially through that first half, you already had a double double. We had the luxury of going to her Chicago show and that's where I got the shirt. Um, so yeah, her, that whole Renaissance album was really, I played it coming here. I don't think I got to uh, alien superstar, but I was like, America's got a problem. Okay, period. And so, um, yeah, I just, everyone knows my love for Beyonce and I don't want people to think it's just her music. I feel like it's just her her want to, her desire to be great. And that's something that I love to watch. I mean, some people, I mean, Kobe as well, but when I'm talking about outside basketball, it's Beyonce. So uh, anytime I can rep her, the queen, I'm there for it. So yeah, a lot of songs are going to my head. Upgrade you was too. Thank you. Hey Becky, thoughts on the Renaissance album? You had fun at the concert. I had too it much fun. Okay. Yeah. Nick Hamilton. Hey, Coach. Hey, Asia. Uh, congrats on the win. Um, Asia, just wanted to ask you, obviously winning an SB, you're also on the cover of NBA 2K25. Um, what does that mean just to have those accolades for young people uh, that are inspired by you and watching you and being able to continue to uh, elevate your message as far as greatness, as far as striving for excellence um, for Black and, and, and uh, people of color? It's a blessing. It really is. Uh, it's My mom had to call me and she was just like, are you overwhelmed? And I'm like, no, I feel like this is just, I have a lot of people that obviously I pour into, but they they pour right back into myself. So I'm never really just overwhelmed because I know how much love is around and that's what I pay attention to. So I'm just very grateful and blessed to be able to play the game that I love, uh, but also touch the amount of people, the outreach, the the input that I'm allowed to share with the youth is something that's tr truly special. So all the awards and all the accolades are great and I love them. But at the end of the day, like seeing smiles on young girls' faces, like that's the real award to me because I'm giving them hope and a chance to play basketball and to love it and to understand that it doesn't have to look a certain way. Like you can do it at your own way and like walk your, your race at your own pace. And that's so key to me. So that's the real award right there. I love it. I love what I do. Okay. I just wanted to circle back uh, for Coach Hammond. Uh, what was your evaluation of Asia's defense tonight? It looked like you disagreed with her assessment. Ghetto. Um, you know, it's just <laughs> funny that she sits there and thinks her defense sucked when, you know, she held her. I think she's more mad probably about the offensive rebounds that they got oh. in there. See? <laughs> but her initial defense was pretty good. Um, you know, she <laughs> she got her, her hands uh on a lot of balls, blocked a lot of shots. You know how I zoom. 
<laughs> Anyways, the guys. Um, sorry, it's hard to keep her on track sometimes. <laughs> uh, anyways, I thought her defense was pretty good. Um, Tina got up, you know, 17 shots. And so that's a lot of work. Not only that, you know, they put Tina in a lot of ball actions. And so that puts A in a lot of ball actions. Um, I thought our zone was decent for the most part, just to mix up some different yeah. looks. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I thought overall, you know, you hold a team to 70 points. That's a pretty good job.